The opposite is probably true for me. Excuse me, have you perchance seen any evil spirits? Oh, my apologies. You're not from around here, are you? This question must sound a little confusing to you. I'm Chong Yun, a local exorcist from Liu. Those versed in the arts of exorcism refer to all forms of demons and monsters as evil spirits. Evil spirits have existed since ancient times. They lurk among the shadows in the lands of Liu, stirring up all sorts of trouble and mischief. It is my duty to exorcise or destroy them, and protect the citizens here from their evil doings. How did you come to know of the vigilant Yaksha? I have great respect for the Yakshas. For generations, Yakshas and exorcists have been protecting Liyue together, one in plain sight and the other in secret. Sorry, I digress. Judging from your response, it seems you aren't well versed in the realm of evil spirits. But that's understandable. If I may ask, have you happened to come across anything strange recently? Sometimes even the most trivial matters prove helpful in my hunt for evil spirits. Oh, I see. Well, fair enough. In that case, I guess I'll just have to try my luck with the clues I already have. <sighs> Only some scattered reports, really. Nothing too significant yet. But if you're interested, I can tell you about some of the more useful ones I've gathered so far. I read a flyer that said, The test of courage is now being held on Wu Wang Hill. Bring your best friend and test your courage together. Then, recently, the sounds of footsteps and shouting have been heard outside people's windows at night. The noises have frightened the children and they are unable to sleep. And a huge shadow has appeared in Guili Plains. It flies and swirls, summons down fireballs, and makes all sorts of strange noises. Cases such as these might actually be worth our attention. I think something strange must have happened at the Test of Courage. I guess this so-called test is supposed to be like a test of metal. Its purpose must be to try the will and power of exorcists. <sighs> Do you think I'm not deciphering these clues correctly? So you don't think any of these clues are related to evil spirits? Uh, sorry. <laughs> Please give me a moment to calm myself. <sighs> no, it's fine. I've been this way since I was young. No, not at all. I guess you could say that I just tend to be... unstable. You know, emotionally. It causes me to become very uncomfortable at times. This tendency of getting stirred up easily is what people call a pure yang spirit. Yes, well, such a constitution is very rare, but it's a potent weapon for an exorcist. My constitution alone is capable of scaring off evil spirits, but I must constantly focus on my emotions, otherwise I may easily do something out of control. Anyway, I carefully selected these clues from an ocean of information. I can't believe they're all completely irrelevant. Oh no. I'm still feeling quite uncomfortable. There's heat growing in my chest. I... I... I can't breathe. No. I'll, I'll be alright. I, I brought some popsicles with me for just such situations. I, I feel much better now. It's quite effective. I'm always sure to bring some popsicles with me whenever I go out. <sighs> Thank you for your concern. I'm fine now. But what should I do next if all these clues are irrelevant? Yes, I've noticed him too. It's no coincidence that we both noticed it. I'm sure he's watching us. But it doesn't seem he has any intentions other than looking at us. Perhaps there's something he wishes to tell us. Right. He might need our help. Uh, huh? Sorry, I'll leave now. No, please, relax. There's no need to worry. We're not here for trouble. We couldn't help but notice you standing here for a while and thought that you might have something on your mind. No, there's nothing on my mind. I just thought the thing you were eating looked tasty. 
My sister just loves food. She's always super happy whenever we get some tasty snacks. I'm her big brother, and I should take care of her, but... Mom says we're too poor, and she never lets me buy any snacks. Oh, you mean one of my popsicles? I'm afraid you wouldn't find them very tasty, though. Oh, it doesn't matter. My sister's never had anything like that before. I know she'd be happy to try one. Hmm. Come to think of it, I've never had one either. I see. Hmm. That might be difficult. Well, I only have two popsicles left. These popsicles are very important to me, and I might need them if we encounter an evil spirit. Without them, I might not be able to control my constitution. Just give him one? Hmm, I suppose keeping the other for myself will be enough. You see, my young friend, these popsicles are very important to me. I'm afraid I can only give you one. That's okay. I don't need one. Just as long as my sister is happy. Thanks a lot. Whoa! It's already starting to melt. I excuse me. I better hurry back to Chihu Rock now. I never expected that something I used to suppress my yang energy would be so appealing to kids. Hmm. Anyway, back to our hunt for evil spirits. Earlier it seemed like you could easily discern which clues were most credible. You must truly be a knowledgeable and seasoned adventurer. I still have numerous clues from my friend which I haven't sorted through yet. With my limited experience, it's hard to tell whether they're reliable leads. If you'd be willing, could you please come and take a look with me? Alright, let's go to Wanwen Bookhouse. Please, follow me. This is a note that I received from a friend. It has many clues about evil spirits on it. If we check the books here at Wanwen Bookhouse according to their respective clues on the note, we'll be able to find the complete details of each clue. Since you're here to help, I'll just read the clues to you and you can help me judge if they're credible or not based on your experience. Alright, here are the first clues. At the foot of Mount Chingsa is a violet grass that has turned into a gigantic, man-eating monster. Also, there's a ghostly shadow skulking about Feiyun's slope at night. It's suspected to be a vengeful spirit. And finally, lurking in Li Yue Harbor is a massive demon that was transformed from a popsicle. Huh. I've never encountered any such things before. Anyway, could you pick the one that seems most plausible and likely to be the work of evil spirits? Hmm, this is possible, but it sounds too similar to previous rumors. Many people often pass through Feiyun's slope, so perhaps it's just some sort of misunderstanding. Hmm, how about these clues? Deep in the Sea of Clouds, a marauding demon has been raiding commercial fishing boats and building a luxurious palace. Or, in Zhuiyun Karst, there's a piece of a thousand-year-old amber that has gained consciousness and now roams about causing trouble. And lastly, it's said that people often see a demon who loves eating chilies in Wanmin restaurant. Zhuiyun Karst is the territory of the Adepti. If there were such a thing, the Adepti would certainly take action. Okay, here are a few more clues. A strange man wearing a mask and wielding a pole was once seen in the distance around Guayli Plains. There's something eerie about his presence. Or, someone saw an exorcist with blue hair who was actually a transformed demon. Wait, what? And finally, there is a vigilant demon adept at concealing itself in mist. Recently, people have found traces of it in Mingyun Village, Guayli Plains, and Yao Guangzhou. Now that you mention it, I may have heard of this one. I've been trying to track it, but the spirit's so cautious that I don't think we'll ever have a chance of catching it unless it decides to show itself. It appears most of these clues are either not reliable or nearly impossible to investigate. It seems like there is little here that we can actually use. Oh, many of these are from my friend, Singcho. 
He's well-read and very knowledgeable. Not to mention he's always willing to extend a helping hand. He always provides me with lots of reliable information. If it weren't for my pure Yang spirit, I would have already vanquished numerous demons because of him. I'm sure of it. I should find a chance to thank him personally. Yes, he always goes out of his way for me, but he never seems to mind and helps me all the same. Also, he often has something interesting to say. I'm quite glad that I get along with him. Sorry, I digress. I've found another snippet of information here. There aren't many details, but it clearly mentions Wu Wang Hill. If we include the Test of Courage rumor from before, there are already two clues pointing there. I've also noticed that the weather in Wu Wang Hill has been very abnormal recently. Let's go and have a look. We might just find something useful. All right, let's head out and see what we can find. This place seems quite ordinary. So ordinary that I don't even feel that it's worth investigating. Wu Wang Hill's unusual weather and peculiar surroundings are a source of constant rumors, most of which are untraceable and can never be proven. So, I suppose this could only be expected. I guess so. Like I mentioned before, my yang energy tends to just scare away evil spirits. You may think it's beneficial for me to have such a condition, and therefore there is no real need for me to practice thaumaturgy. But if I renounced my practice of thaumaturgy, and one day met an evil spirit that didn't fear my yang energy, then I may not be able to exercise it. If I merely spend my time training without actually putting it into practice, then how would I ever know the fruits of my labor or what skills I needed to improve? But to this very day, despite the many exorcisms I have performed, I have yet to see a single demon, not to mention one that I needed to defeat using thaumaturgy. <sighs> Sorry, I, I shouldn't rant like that. I'm fine. I've gotten used to such feelings. Since we're already here, let's go check the two locations mentioned in the clue. What's this? I know this mist. It was left by some kind of evil spirit. It's very thick and never disperses. The evil spirit may have been here recently. Yes, it was not all in vain. But we mustn't act rashly. If this mist remains here, it can easily contaminate the area. Once it contaminates monsters such as Hillichurls, it could even make them more aggressive and dangerous to anyone nearby. Or if it happens to contaminate any adventurers passing by, the consequences would be unimaginable. My pleasure. Let's inspect the surrounding area to see if there's any more mist like this. Once we've cleaned up this mess, we'll continue forward. Remember, there might be danger ahead. We should be prepared for a fight. It's second nature to me. Exorcism is a solemn and serious matter. It's on me if you or anyone else gets hurt due to my negligence. There's no time to lose. Let's go. It appears there are evil spirits here, and not the weak variety. Let's keep going. I suspected that there would be hilly shells here. Let's deal with them all. We mustn't let a single one escape. These tracks are still fresh. It seems the evil spirit is on the move. The path ends here as well as the tracks. It'll be difficult to follow it any further. It must have sensed me as a threat from a long way off. That's why it ran with such haste. It seems that this is still not the kind of spirit that can overcome my abundant yang energy and fight me head on. <sighs> Don't worry. I'll continue tracking it for a few days. It won't dare show its face around here again. Most likely, yes. I'm afraid the best I can do is just scare it away. Hmm? Why do you seem so disappointed? No, quite the contrary. Not only did we clean up the traces of the evil spirit, but we also took care of those monsters. We've done our jobs as exorcists. My only regret is that I didn't get to drive it away using my thaumaturgy. But I'm already prepared to spend my life chasing this goal. 
so I do not regret such disappointments. Yes, so please, cheer up. Actually, I also wanted to thank you for not leaving me, even with my special condition, and for helping chase the evil spirit to the very end. Even if we'd ended up running into an incredibly strong demon, I would have felt much safer with an experienced adventurer like you by my side. Well, I appreciate it. Oh, it seems the weather is starting to clear up over there. Let's go have a look. Hmm. Perhaps there's nothing to worry about after all. Even though I didn't come face to face with that evil spirit, at least I met you. Oh, no, uh, that came out wrong. What I'm trying to say is, we shouldn't focus only on the gains and losses of our journey. The things you see and the events you encounter along the way are equally important rewards. Oh, you're right. I'll just have to make do without my popsicles then. Here, my young friend, you can have my last two popsicles. You and your sister can each have one. Really? Wow! Thanks a lot! <laughs> Just wait till my sister tries this. I haven't seen her smile in a long time. Whoa! It's already starting to melt! Excuse me, I better hurry back to Chihu Rock now! I never expected that something I used to suppress my yang energy would be so appealing to kids. <sighs> but I wonder how I'll manage without any popsicles. I usually get my popsicles from one min restaurant on special order. The ingredients are not complicated, but the restaurant is always bustling with business and Chef Mao is usually too busy to take my order. Now that I've used all my supply, I'll have to trouble him to make more. Oh, no need. I'm sure I can manage it on my own. No, please don't feel at fault. I think you made the right choice. But if you're offering to come along, then I won't refuse. <sighs> all right. Please follow me to Wanmin Restaurant. Ah, oh, this is bad. Chef Mao is not at the restaurant right now, and neither is Xiangling. We'll have to wait until he returns. What do we do about the evil spirits? Oh, are you a good cook? Then I'll leave it to you. Thanks for your help. Uh... I'm afraid all I know is that it requires water, but to imbue the effect that suppresses my yang energy, perhaps something special is required. Like different plants, fruits, or herbs, for example. Do you have any experience with such things? Oh, that sounds about right. Coming up with the right ingredients off the top of your head like that? You most certainly are an experienced adventurer. Have you procured all the ingredients for the popsicles? Money or infested. Wow. Leo's really got a lot going for it. Are they finished? Oh, they look exactly like the ones Chef Mao makes for me. Let me try one. <clears throat> yes. Good. This is the right feeling. I can sense the energy calming down within me. Thank you, Traveler. Now I have lots of popsicles. Your skills are amazing. If I'd known you possessed such skills, we could have made more for that kid and his family. <laughs> right. But he mentioned his family is not well off. I'd still like to help them if I can. Exorcism is my means of helping the people of Liyue live more peaceful and happy lives. If that kid really needs my help, then helping him would be just different means to the same end. Alright. I remember the kid mentioned that he was headed for Chihu Rock. Let's go find him. Where did you get these? I didn't give you any Mora. You didn't steal them, did you? No, I didn't steal them. I talked to a nice person and they just gave them to me. So you've been asking for food on the street? I've already told you such behavior makes you look uneducated. How 
did you ask a stranger for food? Is that any different from being a beggar? But I didn't ask them for it. They asked me if I wanted some. That's it. No more lies. Just be honest about your mistake. Uh, excuse me. He got those popsicles from me. He never asked us. We just gave them to him. Uh, yeah, this is the nice person I was telling you about. What? what? Who are you? My name is Chung Yoon. As you could probably tell from my attire, I'm an exorcist. Your son really seemed interested in popsicles, so we thought we'd make a batch for you. That's why we're paying you a visit. Uh, oh, I see. Sorry, I seem to have misunderstood him. I'm sorry, DeLong. It was wrong for Mommy to blame you. It's okay, Mommy. So, am I allowed to talk to the nice popsicle man now? <laughs> sure. But please keep an eye on your sister. Mommy will be back after some errands, okay? Don't worry. I'll look after her. Bye, Mommy. Thanks. If it wasn't for you, I would have been in big trouble again. Thank you for the popsicle. It was so cool and delicious. Oh, wow. Look at all the popsicles. Thanks. Okay, I got it. Thanks, you guys. You're like heroes. Heroes? Yeah. I've been telling a story to my sister recently, as she admires the story's heroes very much. They're chivalrous, just, and they help the weak fight against evil. And the heroes always have a good partner. One hero can beat up two bad guys, but with a good partner, they can defeat even more. You two must be very good partners. Uh, well... Yay, I knew it! You two must get along well together. Um, we're gonna go play right now. <gasps> oh, would you come and play with us? Don't be so childish. I'm sure heroes like them have important things to do. Huh? You mean you can't play? Huh? Oh, well, I... Uh, sorry, could I have a word with you, Traveler? They look so excited to play with us, but I'm sure they'll be disappointed if we refuse. Uh, sure, that's fine, but... No, it's nothing. I'm just... A little bit worried. I spend most of my time purging evil spirits and practicing thaumaturgy. And besides my training, I also need to constantly focus deeply on my own emotions to avoid losing control. So what I mean is that I seldom have time for anything that others would consider fun. I don't even know the first thing about playing with kids. They think we're heroes, so they must be very excited to play with us. But I'm afraid they'll just find me boring. Really? I just don't want to disappoint them. All right, let's give it a try. But I'll need your help if I don't know what to do. Hey, they're back! So can we go play now? Uh, yeah. I'll try. <laughs> Yay! No need to be nervous. We're gonna have a blast. Um... Oh, I know. Um, uh, let's play hide and seek. Um, you'll be the ghost, but um, don't peek until you count to fifty. Who? Me? Huh? I don't know anyone who doesn't know how to play hide and seek. Uh, okay, you can be the ghost then. <laughs> You'll never be able to find me. You mean, we just hide anywhere we want? Of course, silly! That's the most fun part of the game! But don't follow me! There's only room for one person in my secret hiding spot! Uh, alright. But I still don't really know what to do. You're right. I'll give it a try. Yay! Let's go hide! No peeking now! me. I can't believe I lost. I didn't expect you to be so good at this. Uh, 
I never expected you to find me so easily. I thought that this would be the perfect spot. In fact, I'm well versed in the methods of locating evil spirits, and I have lots of experience tracking down their hiding spots. This spot is dusty and a bit gloomy, which gives off an unsettling energy. Evil spirits usually prefer such places. Yeah, I guess my experience as an exorcist doesn't apply very well. Since I've been found, I guess I must admit my defeat. It's a simple game, yet quite intriguing once you begin to play. Sure, we can invite more friends to join us. Let's go. Man's a ghost now, too. How did you know to look for me here? You didn't peek, did you? Huh? Did the popsicle man tell you where to find me? Hmm. Mommy's still not back yet. Oh, I'm starving. Do you two know how to cook at all? Don't be so selfish. They played with us for a long time already. Well, if we played for so long, then a little longer won't hurt. No, it's all right. But I'm not too picky about the taste of food, as long as it doesn't make me feel unwell. Unwell? Are you sick? Mommy says you should always take care of yourself. No, it's not so serious. I just need to be careful about what I eat. For example, Noodles with mountain delicacies. The dish tastes great, but I can't eat anything warm. So I came up with my own variation called cold noodles with mountain delicacies. Oh, C cold noodles? That sounds nice and cool. I, I want to try. Well, I don't think they taste quite as good as when they're served warm. No way. I'm sure it's just as good as the popsicles, or even better. Uh, well... Hmm. All right. We can use the kitchen here. I'll prepare the noodles once all the ingredients are ready. Are all the ingredients ready? Grilled tiger fish! Get it while it's hot! So? How does it taste? Ah, oh, that's a relief. I'm glad you like it. Let's serve the dish to the kids. I hope they'll like it. Wow, it tastes amazing. I've never had anything like this before. Mm, you're not only a hero, but, but also a chef? What a surprise. Is there more? I want seconds. Me too, me too. Whoa, slow down there. There's plenty more. Oh, I'm so full. You're so amazing. Now that we're done, let's play more games. M m more games? This is completely unexpected for me. I was sure that everyone would just think I'm boring. No way! You're so much fun! And if you weren't so icy all the time, you'd be even more fun! Come on, let's go! I want to play something else! 